Okay guys, sadly the dog is gonna be going outside with me um, for this project. So that is pretty much a guarantee that she is going to bark at some point because she barks at everything, especially delivery trucks. And where we live, it's like nonstop delivery trucks, even though our road is not a dead end, but I don't know why anybody would drive on it if you didn't live right here in this little block because it's kind of a unique spot. Anyway, all that to be said is that I apologize ahead of time for her barking, but if I don't put her out there, she's just going to literally scratch on the door and annoy me to death. <laughs> the whole time I'm out there working. So let's see how this DIY project goes. It was so windy and I was so far away from the camera that we're just going to be doing a voiceover. I have the rebar stuck into the ground. It's probably in there a couple foot. I really wasn't sure how many lamp pieces I had. So I didn't want to push it further into the ground until I knew I had enough rebar above ground. I'm starting with a piece from a ceiling light that I got at the thrift store and it was going to be a lot of work to get this light back together. This is kind of like a medallion piece and so I ended up just salvaging all of the lamp pieces. On a lot of these thinner salvaged metal pieces what I had to do was take some needle nose pliers, bend the hole a little bit so that it would go um, be larger, large enough to go on the rebar. I had tried that before I left to buy the rebar. So I wanted to make sure that what I thought was gonna work in my head was actually going to work. This piece though, it was the absolute perfect thing for a base. All I did throughout this whole process was just used trial and error on assembling the totem. So I didn't want it to look like a lamp. I didn't really buy any of these pieces with this intention. And I have a whole blog post on this over at thejunkparlor.com. But basically, I had bought the white one I'm touching here and a big green one that I use for this project as well for vintage Christmas light. I will link that blog post in the description. I was wanting to figure out a way to not have to store these pieces during the summer because I use them in the winter to look like Christmas ornaments. And really I was only down to two because when we moved, I didn't wanna haul them all with me. Um, some of them were broken, so I just went ahead and threw them away. I mean, there's nothing like cleaning house and decluttering like when you are going to move. I brought three with me, but one broke. It hit a memorial um, little plate there that's right in front of the totem, and I used it in the winter, but then when I was uh, cleaning up once the weather got warmer, I went ahead and threw that one away as well. The other lamp pieces that I have, I bought those specifically just for the metal bases that come with them because I use those as bases on my cloche. The lamp globes for those gave me absolutely no impression of being good for Christmas ornaments, but I didn't wanna throw them away and I didn't know what to do with them. So I just kept putting them in a box, in a pile, along with all of the little metal salvage pieces. I have sold a lot of the metal salvage pieces, so I don't have everything that went with the lamps that I have bought because people use them for repurposing, creating, you know, junk angels or whatever it is they're creating. So those pieces sell a lot for me, but I did start saving some when I was going to do this garden totem. You really need those pieces because you don't want the glass to be shaking around in the wind. It's going to break. And so the metal pieces, I would fit them together in a different way than intended because I didn't want it to look like a lamp. I wanted it to look like a totem. But the metal pieces were needed in order to keep everything stable. As you'll see when I'm making this, I'm strategizing how to put things, how to assemble everything. So I had to undo some, back it up off of the rebar, 
And that proved to be very difficult because I did have things um, so snug. I would suggest if you are going to make this and keep it up year round, you could use some caulking or some kind of E6000 glue and really secure the pieces. For me, now that I have this garden totem started, I'm going to be very intentional about picking out some lamp globes that I think will look good on it because the bottom bottom ones are my favorite. The other ones were just things that I had. So I want to be able to take them off to put better ones or new ones on. And you might be wondering why I'm doing it a third time and that's because the rebar was just way too tall and with all of them on there I couldn't put it down into the ground any further. It's still too tall but I explained that in the blog.